Hey, welcome back to Grandpa KC, where your grandpa talks about tech and technology and verses. Today I'm going to be comparing my old Black & Decker workbench, which has served me very, very well, okay, to the new Pony workbench. Let me take it out of the box, we'll take a look at it, and tell me what you think. So when I've taken it out of the box, as you can see, the first thing you can see that the Pony is much larger than the original Black & Decker workbench. So this is something that is quite different. The original, the, the Black & Decker has four dogs. This one comes with four, too small, too large. The clamping mechanism in this is built into the bed. You can clamp pipes. With this, you can clamp just about everything. And it's all built in. Now, I'll show you at the top in a minute, but you, there's a measuring area on the top. The other thing is, it comes with two nice full-size clamps that can go right into the bed. Now, you can see I've taken off, on this case, the edge of this. And there's a place where you put it in, in here. And there's a release, which I'll show you in a second, where you pull on it. And that allows the clamp to go in. And then you can adjust the clamp, obviously, the way you want it. And the same thing over here. So you could actually clamp anything pretty well onto this table. Plus, you could use regular clamps. That is pretty cool. Or, the clamps are nice, that you could clamp them to any piece of stock that you're working on, straight up and down. So it comes with two nice stocks. Now, they're stored over here is a built-in place for them to go that locks in place and they get them out of the way. Not only that, this also can co convert to a workbench. Now, as I said, you, you can convert to a sawhorse, which you can adjust the feet up and down. And you simply do that by simply pressing in and everything in here is about buttons. It releases this arm and the sawhorse breaks down. That, but you can still connect clamps, use your clamps here. Let me pull this out to give you an example. So I can remove my dogs and place in a clamp. Again, there's a release here for everything. You can see it. I'm just pulling it out so you can see there's a release. That puts, brings the arm in and locks it in place. Now you could clamp a piece of stock, whether it be flat on the bed or vertical. If you wanted to clamp it this way, put it, your stock in here and, and work on it this way, like you were painting it or something, and then you adjust your clamp accordingly. This is a really, really unique design. And I have to say, this, it is extremely well made. And on top of that, what I really like <clears throat> easy lock, easy go. Now, the stand over here in the bottom there, you can see, has, again, quick releases on it. Everything is designed to store and hold and put things in, in a easy to store and use place. All in all, we'll continue this conversation inside. Right now, I'm using my Lanier mic. And we'll talk about that from inside. But you can get the idea that so far, this pony workbench far exceeds my old back and decker, which has still served me well for many years. And you can see it's huge. So the bottom line is this is a very versatile product, like I said. The adjustable height, all that it comes with, the ability to take your projects and hold them and clamp them and move them in very various angles. The adjustable height also makes it a fantastic unit. The only negative that I saw is that when you fold it up, unfortunately, with all this great design, they messed up big time. And what I'm talking about is they have these two little pieces of rubber that attach on the thing and close when you close it you cl you clamp it on one on each side and that holds it closed 
Unfortunately, someone forgot to, in their design to put a little dig on it that holds this tightly onto the unit. So unfortunately, when you're moving it, it's very easy to knock off, either lose one, or if they pop off both, suddenly have it open, and, and, and suddenly you could get your finger caught and get or trip or have it fall on someone. That is the misdesign that they really should correct. Anyway, this is your Grandpa Casey. Grandpa's sharing with you products and things that will make your life easier. Please give us, smash us a like. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps the algorithm find, help other people find this. Please uh, share this. And, and don't forget to give us a like, a share, a subscribe, as like I said. So until next time, this is your Grandpa KC, and I'll be back with more product reviews, more tech news, all of this just for you. Until next time, have a great day. Thank you.